All right, so in this video tutorial, we're going to be dealing with conservation of energy type problems, and specifically conservation of energy when we're talking about uh, springs. So this is a very good uh, problem to know how to do when it comes to your free response. So let's say that I've got a hill like this, and coming down, I've got a uh, spring at the bottom of the hill. And let's say that this hill is, uh, I don't know, 10 meters long, or 10 meters high. And let's say that I've got a one kilogram mass that's gonna roll down this hill, and again, the hill is frictionless. And at the bottom of the hill, it's gonna collide with this spring. And let's say the spring has a spring constant K of 50 newtons per meter. And what I wanna know is how far that spring will compress. In other words, I want to know x. Well, what we can do is utilize the conservation of energy and state, okay, right now, if this thing is released from zero, then starting out, I only have potential energy due to gravity. Now, at the bottom of the hill, I've got no more potential energy, but all that potential energy got converted into kinetic energy, and then when it hit the spring, that kinetic energy got converted into potential energy again, but potential energy due to elasticity, which we know the equation for. It's 1 half k x squared. The equation for gravitational potential energy is mgy. So what I can do is set these two equal to each other, mgy equal to 1 half k x squared and I can solve for x. So I plug in my mass is 1, gravity is 9.8, and y is 10. So 1 times 9.8 times 10 and set that equal to 1 half. My k is 50 and then this is x squared. So we figure 1 times 9.8 times 10 is 98 equal to half of 25 is 50, or 20, excuse me, half of 50 is 25. So 98 divided by 25 gives me 3.92 equal to x squared, so square root both sides, and you get a compression of 1.98 meters. So again, setting your initial potential energy equal to your final kinetic energy, okay? We saw another type of problem where we had a uh, mass and we had a platform that had a spring on it. And we said that the mass was like, uh, I don't know, let's just make it, let's say it's one meter above the platform and let's say that the mass is one kilogram. And again, I wanna know how far the spring compresses before it shoots back. So let's say K is, uh, let's just say it's 10 newtons per meter. Well, what's gonna happen here, again, if it's released from rest, then I only have potential energy. So again, I go MGY equal to one half K x squared. I know m, I know g, I know y, I know k, and I'm left to solve for x, just like before. So those are two types of problems that you can expect for your free response dealing with uh, conservation of energy for a spring.